Peace, peace, peace. There's no slack. I'm on my YouTube channel and I want to address to the police chiefs. I want to address to, you know, our city councils, our mayors, to the judges. High Point, North Carolina, Greensboro, Winston-Salem, you know, Surrey County, you know, uh, Davie County, Davidson County. Get ready. You want to know what a indigenous, aboriginal Niji look like, right? You want me to go by the term of being a Negro, black, or color, African American. So that way Donald Trump could deport me or you, and this is what I need for y'all to do. You are not a Negro. You are not an African American. You're not a black person. You're not a colored person. These are terms that they use under the color of law in their foreign courtrooms, under their foreign jurisdiction. And this is what I need for y'all to wake up to. You need to go in that courtroom and you need to tell that judge that you know now. You are an indigenous, aboriginal, Niji, an original inhabitant of Turtle Island. Some people are going to be asking the question, well, what is Turtle Island? Turtle Island is what they love to call North Carolina. You understand that most of these foreigners, most of these white people that, you know, are here right now in our inner cities, running our so-called governments. You have to understand that they're foreigners. We are native, indigenous to this land. And what we need to do is start taking our land masses back. The same way that they took our land from us back in the days is the same way that we have to learn to take our land back. A lot of people are asking the question, well, how do you do that? You learn their ways of running the government and you make a blueprint of your own. You learn their ways of running the business and you make a blueprint of your own. I'm making sure that I say every detail of what I'm saying in this video because I want this to get out to a lot of people that you are not an African American. Jesse Jackson, Reverend Jesse Jackson, I am somebody. Some, ain't somebody who lied to you. The term African American was not properly used until the years of 1988 which we have went from being so-called Negroes, so-called blacks, so-called colored people to now African American. You have to wake up that our ancestors, our elders, your grandmama, they knew and they know if they're still living, they know that we are native and indigenous to this land. I'm not saying that you're a native Indian. No, I'm saying that you're an aboriginal, Niji. What you have to do is go back, go back and trace the tribes that you come from, the heritages, the traditions that you used to live by in the cultures. Us taking upon Christianity has destroyed our mindset. Weakened our bodies. Those of you who know about the 24 karat liquid gold, please go and, and, and study what liquid gold is. And it's something that you can drink and it is healthy for your body because it rejuvenates you. It gives you energy. It builds you up. It gives you bone mass. It makes sure that your intellectual mind frame is at the most high. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And what I need for you to do is also make sure that at the end of the day, you fast because fasting brings forth energies, certain energies that Dick Gregory was talking about. And it's something that we're going to get real deep into as you look into my videos and you understand exactly what I'm talking about. To my aboriginal Niji, brothers and sisters, the kings, the queens, the queens, the guys, the goddesses, I need for you to wake up. I need for you to wake up and, and, and take back what's yours. We are in the, the age of Aquarius, which is the age of information. The age where you're supposed to be able to come to understanding yourself more when you face your fears and at the same time you face the things that you really didn't think that you would face the most the time of sorrow the time of pain the time of understanding the time of healing the time of suffering but at the same time the time of growing if a bee ever landed on you have to understand that this bee probably thinks that you're a beautiful flower because at the end of the day you too are a part of the universe as the grass as the trees all trees give forth knowledge all trees give forth life what you have to understand that even the dollar, even the paper, even the books that you read, they're made of trees. So what is that saying? They're saying that a tree is knowledge. 
But what you have to understand that every day in life, you have to understand that there's a tree around you somewhere in life that you have to, you understand, take the knowledge or bear the knowledge of that tree. And that tree teaches you either the tree of good, the tree of evil, the tree of, of, of life or the tree of death. You have to understand that these trees in life, they teach you. You understand what I'm saying? So what I want to get on here and I want to say, I want to shout out to all of my people all over the four corners of the world. That you have to understand that there's no, no, no circle in this world. The world is not round. And at the same time, the world is flat. You have to understand why they say the four corners of the world. Because if you think about a circle, a circle don't have corners, baby. Now they say it's 360 degrees in a circle, but I want to tell you people that they're wrong. And the way that you find out the truth about what I'm saying is you take one 90 degree angle and you times that one 90 degree angle three more times. Now what you're going to do is one, two, and then you take it three and put a top on it. That's going to say 90 and 90 is what? 180. And 180 and 180 is 360. Now you do the math. We've been lied to by our government and this government is not our government. They're government that are foreigners. You understand what I'm saying? And once you understand that they have a military fringe around that flag, you have to understand that this is basically representing military action being forced against you. At the same time that they're representing that they're on foreign soil. You understand what I'm saying? You're not in the United States of America when you step in that courtroom. I advise you. I advise you strongly to wake up, people. 